Hello, everyone. Hello, everyone. Hello. 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 Uh, thank hello. You. Hello. Hello. Uh, <laughs> thank you all for attending uh, today's session. And we've got a special guest. We've got Pete, who's joining us today as well. Um, so we're going to just go through CD7, Audio 7 today. Um, and just a quick summary of Audio 6. It was all about feeling good now, defining your dream, how to do it, getting a burning desire for its achievement. And Katie also talked about the sweet spot as well. So a goal big enough to excite you and small enough to believe that you can get it. So now CD7, we're gonna be delving deeper into defining your dream, your burning desire, your emotions, feel good now, and the 10 second miracle. So let's begin. Shall we? <laughs> so, Obviously, Kevin Trudeau kind of so far has been mainly speaking about um, the thinking side of the training balance scale, the 99.9%. He doesn't talk about the how, the techniques, the skills, you know, the strategies and methodologies. And um, we just wonder why is that? Why does he only talk about the thinking, you know, the emotions, the feelings? Why doesn't he, he doesn't tell you how you need to know skills and techniques? Why is that, guys? Oh, Amen. You go first. You never go first. Maria, Maria, Maria first. <laughs> Translate to Oscar. <laughs> oh, yeah, okay. So, um, well, why doesn't he talk about the how? Because this is part of the, th the third basic concept. It's a training balance scale, which suggests that you only put your mind on, um, on the why, the, 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 the thinking, the mental processes, the, your dream, your chief aim, the, the vision, um, and not so much on the how, because the how will present itself once you're correctly, when, when your attitude is right, right? Right. So um, you, you focus on, on, on all this internal stuff, let's say, and the how will present itself when, once the first step is done. So that's why he's going not going back to the, to the attitude, right? The facts don't count because exactly. So when, when you when, when you think a thought, yeah, um, as we all know, it permeates all matter, mm -hmm. and then that attracts itself in, into your life physically. So uh, back to the training balance skill. That's that's it, and also you know it's very interesting that society actually makes you feel like you need the techniques and skills, business skills, and, and business how to skills. Well. You know, they tell you about seminars, you know, you have to go to real estate seminars, you have to go to learning how to sell on Amazon, learning how to sell on eBay, you need to know the techniques and skills, and you can use seminars and work you, do focus more on the techniques and skills rather than feeling good now, you know, defining your dream and getting a burning desire for it. So I realized that the whole world is in reverse and it's designed and set up to make you fail because you instantly fail thinking, well, I don't have the talents, I don't have the gifts, I don't have the skills, I don't have financial or business skills to create wealth. So what's the point? You know, um, I just it's just not in me. I'm not, I can't be Bill Gates, for example. Not that anyone. Anyway. It's, it's, <laughs> uh, yeah. it's a technique purposely put on you to believe that yeah. you're not worthy and are not powerful to yes, make you yeah. feel powerless. Yeah. Uh, hence, hence for them to be in control, to control the masses. Yes, exactly. It's the how and it's the techniques, which is what most people think, which is why um, most people fail. That's right. Yep. It's yeah. one of the, first, the one state of, the... of not achieving, no? That, that's why also they want you to keep on the same level you are, no? It's, no. The, it's to keep you at, a, at no. a swallowing at a certain level so you never rise up. Yeah. I think it was in CD third or four, we talked about the four reasons why people fail. And I think it falls goes back into one of those categories where one of them was your teachability index, people just refuse to learn and to change. And the one is where the biggest one, in my opinion, from what I see is if I have a conversation with somebody about if they're asking me what to do or they're asking themselves what to do and I give my advice, even though, you know, maybe it's not in their business, but they, the first thing everybody says is how. And I go, hi, I have no, I have no idea. <laughs> So then you sound like a crazy person, which is right. what which is what they want you to 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 sound like. Yeah, yeah, because they think that surely you must know how to do it. You need to know how to. Did you take a course? Did you go to university? Do you have a degree? Did you get a degree? Do you have an <laughs> academic background? Well, no. 
I'm a Joe Lunch fucking. Instead, and, he said, and he goes on to say, instead of defining what they want, they concentrate on what they don't want, and then it encourages disbelief and, again, makes you powerless. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. That's it. That's what it is. So when a thought is sent out, you know, your brain, um, like even you're a genius, a mathematical genius, couldn't comprehend the, the synergistic coordinations, the, the patterns, the synchronicities that are happening because it's all happening off the off your radar screen it's all happening in the quantum field in the amazing <laughs> i think it's in um, i think it's in as a man thinketh where he says um the physical no the the world you see is controlled by the world you can't see the invisible world i think he invisible says yes. and yes. thoughts all around us and permeating everything yes. all the time and he goes on to say that which is Quite intangible where it goes across the universe so That's it goes true. from one end of the globe to the other end of the globe yes it's still amazing isn't it? Space and time. across yes. space and time so dr joe it's dispenser fine. calls this invisible part um the quantum field and sometimes mm. you'll see us referring to it as the quantum field so the quantum field is that invisible 99.999 percent where all the probabilities um exist and potentialities exist um, and there's an infinite number of potentialities of what could happen, you know, or what you can imagine. And so um, if you can imagine it, it's already there in the quantum field. And so think about that, you know, we can't figure this out, mm. like what's happening, all the combinations of subatomic particles coming together into atoms, into molecules, um, into form, physical mm. form, into this, this reality, 3D um, dimensional yeah. reality. And we can't comprehend. You, even if you're a genius, you won't be able to figure it to out. Figure out. You ain't that smart. <laughs> we ain't no, that we smart. Ain't that smart. No. <laughs> yeah, which leads so, us to the timing because you know um, the universe will deliver your desire in the perfect timing, and it's called divine timing. Yeah, if you That's think so about it, it's divine timing, and we can't figure that out. You know, when smart. when the right time is for us, we think we know, but actually the universe knows more of when it's the right time yeah, for us. The best point for us. And then remember the observer effect that the universe only exists because we are observing it, right? But so, you said that last two weeks ago. That was quite mind-boggling. Yeah. yeah. So, so this is just a, like a reminder of like when we focus and send out a thought, we are observing it and we're causing things to change. We're causing subatomic particles to move and communicate with each other and, and come together to actually eventually give us that event or that is thing. it in the secret with a guy with the glasses he says you can't have a universe without mind ent entering into yeah. it because the mind's actually shaping oh yeah i think that the, What's that in the universe I, I can't i can't yeah. quote them perfectly i think it was something exactly what you just said yeah so the guy was talking about the um we are not talking about imaginary craziness yeah. I'm talking to you from a deeper, basic understanding. Yeah, exactly. This one. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, and, and remember, these subatomic particles in the quantum field, they're beyond time and space. So you can't say that it's going to take time for one particle to communicate with another. It happens instantaneously. There's almost like an invisible link between one particle and another particle. Um, and so communication happens just straight away. And then they rearrange themselves to um, produce that event, you know, what I was talking about, um, or that thing that you were desiring. So understanding quantum physics at the subatomic particle level and what the universe is made of, when you understand a little bit of the science of it, it yeah. actually can help to increase your level of belief that this stuff works. Mm -hmm. And it's not just woo-woo yeah. stuff, you know, just made up. It's actually science, science. is showing this. It's actually proving this. Um, in, in quantum physics. Um, and, you know, I think Greg Braden said that there was the one experiment where two photons, two light particles were separated across time and space. And what they did with one particle, the other particle reacted just- Same as the DNA in, in, in level two training with Trudeau. It's yeah. the same with the, the DNA. They stopped same at the 10 DNA. miles. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I think um, they did the double slit experiment, if that's right. Yeah. What's it called, Pete? Double slit experiment. Double slip, let's get noted. They fired a particle through um, something, but they realized there was a, an awareness which was watching that. Um, so it's quite a, an interesting experiment there. But, Just um, proving again that it's true and not hocus pocus. Yeah. Yeah, so yeah. You won't see it on BBC News or ITV, ITV News. <laughs> you won't be seeing it on that. <laughs> <laughs> That'll be the end of them if it was. 
And also the power of the observer effect is that they've also um, studies have shown that when you have a randomized controlled trial of a scientific experiment with the strictest conditions, the results will still be affected by the observers, the people that are doing the experiment. So even though it's double blinded, so nobody knows, even the people that are doing the experiment, nobody knows what the variables are, what they're testing, the results will still be affected by them being participating in that experiment. Yeah, Brent Baden said this, yeah. participator of the universe, yeah. So, um, so the basic procedure is to have B and D. I mean, this is what he starts off this with saying. This is what saying. he starts off saying, have Obviously, B and later do. on, we know he goes into B, B do and have. have. We'll just leak that in there. Um, so number one is define your dream. Number two is get a burning desire for its achievement. And number three, you know, have high belief levels, focus on focus on what you want at, and keep doing it over and over again at the conscious competence level so you get to unconscious competence. So it becomes unconscious competence. So the question, like so the, the first, first question, is, and the first step is like, what do you want? You know, cause he says, define your dream. And have you written it down guys? Do you know what you want? I know Oscar has, and he's manifested many things. <laughs> yes. Oh, of course, oh, Jamie well has. Done. <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I got my work stuff at the front and then I got my goals at the back. I got, I've got a chief, I've got a chief aim. Yeah. Which is, I might as well tell you, it's mortgage free, a certain amount of money in the bank and uh, car free. That's my end goal, but my, I've got to go back to my belief level. So I got three goals. I done it last year and it, and it worked. I hit my first goal and there's my chief aim. I'm going to the next logical step all the time. Great. I like, I like that idea with with setting the bar fairly low because sometimes um, you won't believe it when, when yeah. something is too big. You should always have a, a grand vision, something to aim for, which gets us excited. But if that bar's too low, I mean too high, we're not keeping it low. You won't believe it. You don't yeah, believe it's yeah, because you've got this kind of. Um, when I, when I was um, to back you up, Pete, is when when you have such a, a big goal, say it's a million pounds, no, and you don't believe it, you don't transmit the frequency from your mind all the time because there's lack of belief uh, and if you have you've got to have a chief aim uh, for me personally it works to have three goals so I have my first goal which I know I can hit and what you think you get in six months I think Trudeau says and then the next one is nearly a sweet spot and the last one is um, a five ten year goal yeah, for me, for my belief level, to, so, to make sure I transmit the frequency of what I want. Yeah, I think it's important to have your own kind of way of finding out what works for yourself. Oh. Um, there's so much information out there. There could be so much noise. It becomes a little bit overwhelming. So if you're more strategic in the way that you think about things, then you can make uh, the steps towards it. Um, if you're more kind of, um, when you learn about yourself and you work on yourself, um, you might find out that you're more sort of right hemisphere dominant. So you're good with your imagination. You can get your energy levels up there. And Make, making sure your, your energy levels are high enough where you're transmitting the frequency yes, all the time. It's, it's the vibration which actually like acts like the magnet to pull what it is yeah. as a belief into your reality from the unknown. The vibrations that are the same attract. Yeah, which really is your emotional state. So it is like Kevin Trudeau says, all about feeling good. Feeling good. Yeah, that's it. That's my favourite bit of all, all these teachings. <laughs> feeling good. Yeah, it's so simple, and everyone forgets it. Everyone forgets it. And yeah. you feel it now when it comes later. You get the experiences. People yeah. think you need the experiences when In that's why when people want a Ferrari and they're on the sort of the dark side of the force and they've got really high emotional intensity. When they get the thing, this they still feel the same. The stuff so when they're when they're going for this thinking it'll give them all this happiness you can just feel it now and it'll and it'll come to you yeah it's cool yeah, <laughs> yeah. most people want to see it before they believe it but hey that's the phrase <laughs> that's, that's how we're taught at school isn't it get taught about ourselves and, and and so you know we, we kind of like i remember living in more of a you know magical world where everything was possible and then of course you go through the education system yeah and um you realize how the conditioning works and it becomes this thing of like if you're not kind of behaving to that then you know you're not going down the traditional route thank god we're the black sheep of the families 
<laughs> Thank God. It's, it's cool. It's cool to be. <laughs> so the second the second step is how do you define it? How do you define your goal? And there's three ways, which we covered last time, which yeah. was which was exactly what you want, uh, the feeling, um, or just the feeling. General and General. focusing on a feeling. Okay. So <laughs> this kind of gives it away it this question. Away. What generally <laughs> is better, better way to, get way to do it? Just to just to feel good. Building. <laughs> that's that's the best way. But he does say general be, keep it loose, you know. Be general. But the best way, the ideal way is he said is you know, focus on the feeling. Um, so simple, isn't it? So simple. Yeah, I know. I know. So simple. And why? Sorry? And why? Because life's so much more exciting. That's wrong, isn't it? Go on, tell me what it was. <laughs> no, 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 no. It's, it's true, it's true. It's, uh, yeah. Since you're not like, like uh, focusing on something specific, which where you might uh, think, uh, when is it coming in? So doubt might creep in. Yeah. So you're not waiting for something specific and then you're much more open for anything that to come in. So Yeah, because if you're focusing on something specific, yeah. as you say, doubt can creep in and then you don't, you don't blast out the frequency with high intensity, high power. So yeah. when doubt creeps in, you, it's, a very low, it's a very low duration and intensity. Yeah, and, and I think focus on the feeling is so good because, you know, you are open to the universe yeah. then. And so I wonder what exciting surprises it is exciting today. It's the, exactly. Surprises, yeah. So it's such yeah. a maybe I'll meet somebody. Doing it, throw out a feeling. You want. Or maybe, maybe, maybe I'll meet somebody. Yeah, <laughs> maybe I'll meet somebody. So you That's know that story of when Joe, Joe meet Mary. Hang on, hang on. I, I, I drive on the road. I drive on the road and I get a flat tire. Oh, yeah, <laughs> flat tire one. It oh, happened to me know. last year. Get the new car. <laughs> <laughs> I was driving on the road, really blasting out. Listen to Abraham Hicks. And my car conked out. <laughs> what is the god? I was in the middle of nowhere going. Oh. <laughs> well, this actually happened to you, Jamie. <laughs> I phoned my fiance, my dad, and my mum saying, I broke down in the middle of nowhere. I've got a COVID test in two hours and it takes an hour and a half to get there. Oh my god, oh my god, no, this is brilliant. You're, 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 you're not right, Jim. I said, This is brilliant. <laughs> really excited. Wow, you had the right positive oh. vibration. You had the right. Uh, it's like when you said like the Joe meets Mary story, but also the um, best restaurant in town. This is the best restaurant in town, well, you but you haven't eaten mm. in all the restaurants in that town. So how do you know it's the best one? You know, so um, there, there's so many things, as we know, 99.999% of your, of your radar screen. screen. So how do you know? You know, well, that's um, the thing, isn't you it? don't know what you don't know. We think that we are all aware of so much. Like we think like we're aware of everything, but really we are aware of so little. Yeah. Um, yeah. Considering that we have a conscious and a subconscious mind, you know? 99.9% think of the things you'll experience are off your radar screen, off your conscious. You don't know how they're gonna come in. You have no idea how, but the universe will give you the right feeling in its own way. Yeah. And and he said, ultimately, we all we want, we really want is to feel <laughs> amazingly <laughs> great, great. <laughs> you know, yeah. amazingly good. So, so he does say feeling is a better way to define your dream in general, in general. So not, you know, it doesn't mean you have to stick with that, but he just said generally that's a, that's a better way to um, define your dream. Um, so let's say if you were, just, just let's think about this when we're focusing on the feeling. So let's say if you wanted that dream house, so rather than be specific on it, what could you, would you be general or would you focus on the feeling? You just, what he says is, is that you should just write down what you want in a house, I think, and mm -hmm. where you want your family to just run off and play or yeah. have the space or a lovely home to bring up your family. And then yeah. the correct, instead of saying this house, this way, oh, this, 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 this exactly. Yeah, because yeah. we don't know, we don't know. No, and it could also be want, like how um, you want the house to make you feel. I want it. I want it yeah. to make me feel safe, secure. You know, protected. Yeah. Or you want to walk into a house where you feel, feel cozy, cozy and it's just got it's like warm, hugging you. like it's yeah. hugging you. You know that that kind of feeling. So whatever. So you can do just literally just what the house is going to make you feel yeah. like when you step into it. 
and that's with anything that's you know you could do it with a car you could do it with a partner you could do it and you can be specific you know obviously he's given that example that you can also be specific with certain things um but i think i can get what he means by the feeling is actually the you know it just yeah. keeps you open to many things and i think when i when i'm doing this and i'm focusing on a feeling i find it easier there's less doubt that comes in you yeah. know like maria was saying was it you maria that you were saying about you know, yeah, if, you, if you're too specific, specific then more doubt and more like, where is it yeah. why isn't it showing up yet whereas if you it can increase up, doubt which means then you don't think about it because it makes you feel bad yeah. so you're not in the sweet yeah. spot yeah yeah you, you're either in your head trying to work it out logically or yeah. when you're in your body you're in that vibration it's just the same as you said earlier um when your attitude's right the facts don't count so it's all about feeling um tuning into how it would feel to already have that what you want and that's how it works so hang on me yeah are you taking notes jamie <laughs> yeah me no. oh yeah i always take notes yeah oh i know this stuff anyway yeah, but it's good to like when know. you do. I guess when you I know, I know it. <laughs> I know it. I got it. <laughs> so divine timing is don't put time in, limit on it. You know, it happens when you have no more doubt, doubt you no, resistance. Go, no resistance. You kind of let it go. So that's why the best things happen when you least expect it. Yeah, it's like it's the, the example of KT when he sold his ranch. Yes, you remember, remember that yeah. story? Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 I know yeah. another story. He had some really good ones in there. <laughs> yeah, we'll get to this um, uh, particular audio. Yeah. So, do you know what really baffled me in that story was the six months thing? Yeah. Oh, that yeah. sort of didn't line up with me. I was thinking six months is, but he said, there's no time limit per se. But I think six months is sort of the, I don't know, is it borderline sort of maybe the time? Because two years wouldn't, wouldn't, I don't know what I don't know here. Is two years, two, I think two years would be too long. So I think six months is about the the way all his advisors are saying now's the time, now's the time, now's the time, yeah. and it wasn't the time. Mm. And he says six months later yeah. it came in. It I thought, wow, back. okay, six months so is quite a long time. More than yeah, he sold the property, isn't he? The ranch. Major Hollywood producer. Yeah, yeah, major, major yeah. Hollywood producer. And they the offered him. He offered yeah, him more. Than... Up, and I had cash in the bank. Really? Guess what lined up with me. <laughs> <laughs> two and a half million pound more yeah. and what what tells you that you're lined up like how do you know yeah. you're in the sweet spot and you're really you know there's no doubt there's no resistance yeah what's the what's, what's the, the thing feelings? that we have you know feelings that's it yes did the, uh, how does it make you feel on? yeah no it's your your feelings your emotional state no? uh, how how good you feel yeah no, it's the, uh, I really like uh, like the this painting of Abraham Hicks, no? The you know the yes, scales. Yes, oh. you oh must my be God. reading it. Uh, Aman, you must have read online because we actually have a slideshow to show you. Um, ah, yeah, now really. Yes, we actually have this slide <laughs> you today. How we we are so connected. Because <laughs> so we're, we're all one. Yes, because we, we are all. It's a very, it's an, it's a very beautiful picture, no? The spiral, that yeah, thing. That's the yeah, that's the one we're looking at. Is that the, the emotional scale? Is it? Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. I'm got... just about to share it. Um, can you see my screen? Yeah, go on my wall. I have. Uh, there not, you go. Not, that. No, no, yeah. Yeah, can you see that? Got it. Yes, yeah, yeah that's. Yeah, the emotional... <laughs> seen that, seen that loads of times. It's brilliant. Yeah, so it's not the completely no, identical to what's. Abram Hicks one, but we just found that we like this one because it was just colourful. <laughs> I mean, like, can I just say how clever that was for you to do that? It would take me years to try and do what you've just done there, screen oh. sharing. <laughs> <laughs> and and if you can see, obviously, you know, this one split into two, so it's got the upward spiral, so all the positive emotions, mm -hmm. and the downward spiral, spiral which is obviously negative. the negative ones. When so... he says negative spiral downwards, he literally means that. Yeah. And look, look at the bottom of 22 of what, what all the media and everything is trying to put yeah. you in. Yep. Depression, yeah. grief, yeah. insecurity, yeah. unworthiness. And I, I was those. I, I, was I have those. a question. I don't know if someone here, because I think uh, Kevin already answered it, but I don't remember. Uh, the question is why there are more negative feelings than positive? Ooh. Good question. Yeah. That's a good question. Maybe um, that's I'm just... Gonna, I'm going to ask Oscar. <laughs> Maybe that's yeah. just um, an example because I've seen quite a lot of of these emotional scales. They're all very similar. 
Mm -hmm. um, but I think, I think there are, did he say there's more, I don't think he says there's more positive emotions, but I think that the frequency is a lot higher with a positive emotion. That yeah, the, the positive emotion um, is more stronger than the negative emotion. So yeah, the frequency is higher, isn't it? It's a, it's a, it's a lot uh, more powerful. Yeah, so yeah. Maybe, so maybe that's... Maybe that's we're conditioned, just we're to, conditioned to think more negatively, though, from a young age. So, you know, we're, we're constantly bombarded by sort of negative news, or you can't do this, or you can't do that. There's a lot of limitation around when we're, when, when we're brought up, whether it's from parents, from school teachers, from the media, from everything else. So the negative emotion part of our brain is, we tend to, um, but there's also something to do with the brain's, um, is it the amygdala? There's a part of the brain which is designed I think it falls to, okay, don't worry. Yeah. Go on, Pete, were you gonna say something? Oh, yeah, I was just gonna say, um, it might be fair to say that uh, the collective consciousness, um, you know, the, the common kind of, emotions which we all experience or um, a certain majority experience are all the ones on the right because as a collective we're only around sort of I don't know um, the early 200s perhaps it's the it's the so ether, isn't it? any people who are kind of um, really up there on the scale yet um, so perhaps it's just a reflection of um, you know all of these ones on the right here mm. is it's, um, it's, what, it's what most people feel, I think. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Because and it's, a, what... it's a very, I, th I personally think, on a selfish point of view, it's a skill where we're getting, on, on level three, it came up where he talks a, a long time about the global consciousness and the elite put, um, you know, I don't, I don't know the word for it, but put it into the field, the, the negative emotions to make you then think of those negative emotions. They're purposely put there from the media, newspapers yeah. and then people then start talking like that and then you become part of this global consciousness but yeah. if you go to the positive side correct me if i'm wrong here, this is sort of um yeah. what chinese whispered from level three but if you are if you are on the left hand side the upward spiral you are more powerful than anything on the right that's that's yes. i don't know if you understood that because that was just going off the cuff yeah, love, love conquers fear love is actually love and the, those the higher other. vibrational emotions um, are much more stronger more they're way more powerful yeah. so i'm yeah, i'm on. gonna give an answer of oscar oscar said because yeah. the negative is too complicated and love is simple and beauty oh i knew he'd say oh, something like that <laughs> he comes up with one every week doesn't he <laughs> oscar that's yeah. a great one Perfect. That's, yeah, yeah. I love so that. Simple. Very good, Oscar. <laughs> Muy bien, Oscar. Look at him smiling. He's so happy. <laughs> Brilliant. So, yeah, it's, that's great. That's, 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 that's the truth. Just what, I just want to add something in there, if I can. Uh, another yeah. thing is, is that we're, we're made up of information. If we're consuming um, this type of information, which is mostly the stuff we see on the TV, which we were perhaps unaware of when we were younger, it's no surprise that most people with a television would be subject to that type of conditioning. Therefore, mm -hmm. um, you know, people get lazy. People don't want to do personal development work. Um, it, another thing that might be fair to say is like, when you start to do this work, you get more positive um, emotionally. Then you start to realize perhaps that, you know, vibrations do exist. And it takes work, but you know, I think um, one good positive thought is uh, like a hundred times more powerful than a negative one. But it's mm. so much more easier to go to the negative because that's what we're uh, almost exposed to, you know, collectively. Yeah. So most people yeah. feed off the suggestions of other people. They can't think for themselves. It's some um, yeah. big problem, and we're in an information war. So it's no surprise that you know, um, they're trying to censor so much um, yeah. of what would yeah. we might consider the secret or the truth to stop people waking up. And, and that's that's amazing related amazing to the yeah. unconscious competence level, Pete. Amazing right? point. Uh, the, the four steps, the unconscious competence were the big ball of positive energy. So Yes. No? Right. It's, yeah. it's like a limbic hijack, subconscious mind control. It is, um, it is my, literally mind control. Yeah. 
So, yeah. and, and you know that uh, the other lower, so fear is, is one of the low emotions yeah. at 22, but there's also 21, which is insecurity, guilt, unworthiness. Yeah. Now, guilt and fear, this is a, a Dr. Zach Bush. He's a brilliant doctor, but he's very awake, very um, conscious. conscious. Yeah. Yeah. And he said that um, what's happening in society at the moment is the fear and the guilt are the two driving things that are make, that are that they're making society they <laughs> they're making society feel so the fear is you know the covid or like all this stuff that's going on the, the guilt is um if you don't get the vaccine you are harming others or you're going to you know if you don't do this if you don't do that then you are putting others at danger for the yeah. virus and so a lot of people are actually feeling and i've actually yeah. spoken to people myself are feeling guilty so there's a mixture of guilt and fear, two very low emotions, the survival emotions that actually shut down the immune system. The immune and, system. and also when you're weak, when you're in fear and guilt, it's very easy to control people. Yeah. I mean, these, these, this is an amazing couple of minutes of talking because that, that was, it's exactly that. Uh, yeah, that's exactly what's happening. It's incredible, that is. Yeah. It's, so, um, yeah, for, for a little moment there, I felt a little bit emotional. I thought that's absolutely true. And what Pete said was, was amazing. What you just said, you know, was amazing. Where it's just, to, we can just see it. And people, my sponsor is um, on the sort of same wavelength, not gone through the, the training with Trudeau, but has said, you know, it's just... It, you know, um, you just wouldn't see this type of information on the mainstream, would you? And never, then, you'll never see it. Because then people will start thinking it. And then people yeah. will think, hang on. Yeah. yeah. And so what happens is, is like when, because all we want to do, the majority of us, when we find out about this, we want to express that's what people should be allowed to do, freedom of expression, just to um, put a counter narrative out there. But they, the people at the top here, they understand about energy, they understand about vibration and stuff. So they want to control that energy system. So they've got everyone's attention on the wrong things. So everyone's kept trapped caught like a puppet and people can't their heads. think for themselves exactly they can't not think for themselves exactly yeah. it's, it's an emotional thing we you know but but the argument is these intellectuals and um you know these highly intelligent people in a different way they want to use logic to um control the narrative and they will use um, seductive ways by playing people's emotions to put them in that fear um, so that they can keep them where they want them. And, it's amazing. Uh, and it's, all, it's all bleeding obvious. It's like it? being in a, an abusive so relationship. It's like, you know, um, they're telling us one thing, but the actions just do not line up with the words. And most people just listen to the words because hearing is one of the five senses. But if you're more intuitive, you'll trust more with your, your own intuition, you know, and normally women are a lot better than this than guys actually <laughs> but um when you work on yourself a bit more you balance yourself out and then you realize actually i can discern between truth yeah and falsehood i can actually see through the illusion and so this is what's happening to all of us we're we're waking up to um yeah. human potential i'll always go back to what Meenal said on the first i think it was the second or third your wish is your command and you said you are Utterly not utterly convinced, but it's a very high thing. You probably know what I'm going to say is that they put this in the COVID and everything because they were shitting themselves. Basically, they, they were thought, "Hang on, there's people like us doing this, and we're losing control. We got to we got to flatten them again." Yeah. And this yeah. virus is perfect for them because they can they can perfect. do loads, loads and loads and loads and loads of different things. Yeah, yeah. It's a, it's a perfect one to to try and control people. So the next slide is all about... Um, so this is from yeah, Playing the Matrix book by Mike Dooley. He was featured in the secret movie, if some of you may remember. So this is an extract from there. We're not going to go through it in detail because it looks like there's a lot on this table. But what he's basically saying is that focusing on the feeling, yeah. is he's just saying that attach yourself more to the happiness and getting your vibe up whether that's gratitude, understanding, confidence, acceptance, tolerance, compassion, self-love, etc., cetera, um, all the good feeling stuff and less detachment to the specifics, the hows um, of the uh, project, the events, the people, people. Um, who's gonna come up, the clients and the house and the specifics of it because 
all of that is dependent on time, space, and matter. It's a bit more, um, you could say it's the illusions of what our five senses are, are the, focusing yeah, on. So the linear mind. The, the linear mind. So it's he's just saying move more towards this side of the table, the happiness part, than the other side and detach more from that. So um, just really detaching from the outcome. So you still have the goal, but you're detached from it because you're, you're really focusing on feeling good now. You're focusing on the... Of getting your wife back, up. back back to backing up everything we've just said, isn't it? That is, yeah, yeah, that illustrates that's the, it. The general set, so we can have cool. To that was amazing, that was cool. Yeah, so have a feeling that something wonderful is coming your, your way. way, you know. What <laughs> happens when you get that, you know, that tire, that tire? How do you choose to feel? Maybe I'm gonna run into you someone. can say, maybe I'm gonna have a business deal, yeah, maybe I wasn't meant to go to this yeah. business deal because something else better is coming. <gasps> I got a flat tire, way, you know. So so in yeah. order, when, you, when you're doing this journey of like, you know, focusing on what you want, getting burning desire, and you're doing all the right things and something seemingly bad happens, rather than saying, oh no, you know, I'll, I'll do all this like, you know, high vibing, my vibration was up. How did this happen? It's actually sometimes That's what seemingly advantage. seems bad, we've just labeled it bad, is just an yeah, event, but it's uh, an event that leads us to somewhere closer to, closer our, dream, to our dream. Yeah. Yeah, so what a new job, what a new job, what a new job, what a new job, what a new job. And then you get fired. What a new job. It's like your car, Jamie. It looks bad. Saying, burning, no. You wanted the, the new car and then what yeah, yeah. the other car. So, and I, was, I, I remember like it was literally yesterday because it scared the bejesus out of me because I thought I, was, I wasn't quite, I was studying it like there was no time. I was, obs I was literally obsessed. I listened to everything. We were all in lockdown, couldn't do anything else. <sighs> driving to this tournament, they managed to get this tournament on and I'm driving along and I'm, I just sat there pretending I was driving my new car. Like I just un unconsciously probably programmed by Trudeau. Yeah. And literally the car just cut out, just cut out, completely cut out. I had to get, um, I, I, I tried, tried to, didn't start up, didn't start up. I had to go and rent a car from um, the first dealership. I have to leave the car on the pavement. This is honestly, left the car on the pavement on double yellow lines, went to the tournament, was three days in the tournament, came back, my two wing mirrors came off. Oh, what? So, so my two wing mirrors been knocked off by people in the streets. Like, and I, and I, I, they've, left, they've left the number, I phoned them. The, the damage cost £100, they sent me 300 so it wasn't bad. And then the car was just worked fine for like a month. And then oh, I had to run in the crucible. And it just, I, just like, I, 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 was Was it... Your battery, which was wrong with your car. Battery, yeah. Yeah, I, I've gone through about four batteries mm -hmm. with cars and, and the same thing happened. <laughs> have, you got eight, have you got eight Range Rovers now? My car's all electric now, so I don't have my battery doesn't go out again. <laughs> you know what that is? It's to do with the, the subconscious part. If you're in a more of a trance and you, you're in a high vibration, you're actually... Um, overcoming the other the physical pieces the physical and that that was its route to, for me to go something's no, happening, something's no shit. happening this is what um i've been experiencing like i've gone through like three or four batteries in the space of um kind of six to seven months um mm. so every few weeks replacing one it's a boat it's a boat coming by or a helicopter yeah like <laughs> i don't know if Pete, i must i might sound mental i don't know if Pete knows what i'm say, saying that but a, a boat came by, I was like, there's one, <laughs> there's one boat. <laughs> I had so much fun doing that. So the, so the step two, so we were talking about, you know, how to define your goal, general specific focus on the feeling. The second step is getting a burning desire for it. So a strong want for it, you know, but without resistance because, but the, 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 the thing is, and the question is really like, you know, sometimes when you want something so much, the lack of it comes in, you know, and I think, um, Aman, you were asking about this last time in the last session about, you know, how do you, when you want something so much, how do you, you know, reduce the, get rid of the doubt, get rid of the doubt really, basically, <laughs> you know, the doubt. Um, and, and the lack of not having it. So I, I wanted to ask Oscar, actually, um, this question about, you know, obviously Oscar's, you know, created a, a great life for himself and the certain things yeah. he did and, and you know how how is it that how do you do it where you just want something so much but you don't feel the lack of it I mean did you ever feel that did you ever feel like you wanted something so much but you could feel you felt the lack of not having it 
Uh, should I translate to him? Yeah. Yes. Eh, eh, Oscar, te eh, estaba preguntando, bueno, que como tú estás creando muchas cosas en tu vida, que si cuando tú deseas algo con mucha intensidad, ¿sabes? O, ¿sabes? Porque están hablando del deseo ardiente, o sea, enfocarte en algo, tener deseo ardiente, si tú sientes alguna vez de tanto enfocarte en ellos y sientes dudas, ¿o cómo lo, cómo lo haces? Eh, tengo un truco que es, es sencillo. Eh, simplemente pienso en lo que quiero con muchísima intensidad y ya lo doy por hecho y me olvido. O sea, no es que me olvide de ello, sino que ya lo doy por hecho y ya siento, o sea, como que lo tengo integrado eh, de que eso ya está así. O sea, no estoy pensando todo el rato en ello, pero sí ya, que ya. siento que ya está. Vale, o sea que lo haces a lo mejor por 90 segundos tal y ya está y te olvidas, ¿no? No, o, o más tiempo, más tiempo, vale, pero, vale. pero que... Y, y sí que de manera sola me viene muchas veces a la cabeza. Vale. Eh, he's saying that he has a small uh, trick. <laughs> uh, so he's saying that he focuses on something. Uh, he, he puts a lot of uh, intensity. And then he believes that he it's already uh, he, uh, him, right? And then he forgets about it. So maybe he's focusing on it maybe one minute, two minutes, five minutes. And then he forgets about it. So you then he doesn't, he doesn't feel, he doesn't feel doubt yes. and uh, right. more thoughts automatically come, come in. So okay. that goes down oh, into the spiritual world that. and then it comes in. Yeah. Right. So you don't leave any room for doubt, really, do you? Because you, you focus on it, you feel good, you feel like you've already got it. And then you, on the intensity and then, and then you stop thinking about it. Then and then you keep busy doing something else that you love. Yeah. Day. Okay, okay, I get like that. Like the approach you used when uh, going first class, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 That's right, yeah. <laughs> Thank you for you reminding me. Yeah. 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 And actually, um, I remember that there is one nugget of gold from Kevin Trudeau. You know, you have, he has the nuggets of gold newsletter and yeah. there's one lesson about it who, where it's, um, it's outlined, this, this technique you said that you, you can focus on it and then just forget about it. This is yeah. also described in one of his uh, lessons. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. And, and I think the, the confusion a little bit is that we, in this CD, um, he does say duration, do it as long. Well, he says do it as often as possible rather than as long as possible. Because it goes in hand in hand with Earl Nightingale's strangest secret. You know, you become what, what you, you think, think about, about most, most of the, of the time. time. So it's almost like he's encouraging you to think about your burning desire, think about it all the time. I guess if it's a burning desire, you automatically will think about it all the time. But then also, you know, so if you do think about life. it all the time, some people are, because they really, really, really want something. They're also frustrated that they don't have it yet. And then, then the, you're introducing, you know, doubt. And the, la the lack is the trick, I think. Definitely. Because yeah. mm -hmm. all the things I've manifested in my life, there's been no lack. And all the things I haven't manifested has been from lack from when lack. I was first starting it. But it's yeah. like, how did he explain it? He says, sometimes you'll hit some, sometimes you'll miss some. And you're not going to, I think, did he say drive? No, what is he not driving a car? But he, sometimes you'll have good hits, sometimes you won't. And it takes practice. You've got to go through the conscious competence until it just happens automatically. Until it happens automatically. Yeah. I'm feeling I'm amazing. There is also one part uh, in your visual command that Kevin says that uh, whenever you're focusing on what you want, also try to balance it out during uh, during the day with emotions, no, uh, feeling good, no, so you don't. That's right. Yeah. I think that's also a key. Yeah, that's yeah, definitely key, a key yeah. thing. Uh, the feeling. Because that's part. also helping to release resistance when you just focus on feel good activities. And you're just vibrating yeah. feel good emotions, even if you've set your intention in the morning that I want this dream house mm -hmm. and car, and then you don't think about it. But at least you're feeling good for the rest of the day. That will help to reduce, release that tension and stress. In yeah. And and yeah. the step four is the belief, uh, no doubt. So, yeah. you know, you already have it. You know, you your belief is hundred percent. You've got it already. You know, it's it's like that and that kind of feeling. It's like the um, when you're excited about the Christmas presents underneath the tree, you know, you haven't got it yet, but you know it's going to be there um, on the next day. So you're feeling that excitement already, you know, even though it's not in your hand. So, or that check in the mail, there's another example. Oh, yeah, you said um, that in the other audio. Yeah, about, yeah. you know, the, the money making secrets there in the audio. Um, and then he also said about the check in the mail, about 100,000 pounds guaranteed voice of dollars guaranteed check is coming in the mail you know it's going to come but you can't cash it in 
um, right. until after 24 months until after two years you can cash it but, but you know it's, it's going to come but it's yours it's, it's there it, and it's on its way mm. for next express so yeah this so is i think we've answered the next question already you know if you feel bad you know your emotional guidance system if you're feeling bad that's an indicator that you've got, you've got fear you're thinking of the how um you're looking at your radar screen you're just looking at the facts um you know based on what your five senses are saying um but all of that remember the radar screen is completely irrelevant because it's 0 0.00001 it's a tiny three inch diameter of what the facts look at the facts look at the facts so when you feel excited about what's off your radar screen and you feel it's already there or it's coming to you it's like the christmas present again going back to that that's where you want to be so the next concept is when he says success in life is nothing more than a decision away. Right. What does he says that a lot, doesn't he? He says yeah. that a lot. Well, what does he mean by that? What does that mean? I mean, everything it's that Kevin Trudeau says, like even if it's just a sentence, like with the attitude, right? The facts and how there's so much you can say just about that one sentence. Dig so, deeper. Yeah, you can dig deep. Deep. So uh, success is nothing more than a decision away. What does he mean? Yes. Like I'm sure some of you must have made a really strong decision, you know, intense particle flow. And then you say these I'm words. I'm going to do it. That's, that's it. it period. Yeah, period. Yeah. That's it. You decide, regardless of the facts, right? You don't care how. There's you have evidence, but I don't care. Yeah. You cannot even see how it's possibly going to happen, right? Yeah. But you decide, I'm going to do it. That's it, period. period. Your belief level is up. You have no doubt. You're focused. You're feeling good despite all the twists and turns to get there, like the flat tire or something going wrong. Or, you know, do, you, do you mind if I share a one minute story? What happened to me with a snooker when I was 18? Yeah. I hope I hope it's not too boring. Well, you know. I was going through, I was trying to turn professional and I tried for two years and I kept losing first round, second round, first round, second round, first. And I was good enough to be uh, in my head a professional and I was 19 and it was a choice between carry on playing snooker or going to the RAF or get a job because I had everybody down my back saying you know you're wasting your time you're not earning any money blah 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 blah, 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 blah all that all the time oh. and I had a bath and I let the bath run for um I had the bath and then I, I sat in the bath for four hours so emotionally charged without any water in it without any water in the bath because oh. I was so gone mentally oh. and there was a moment where I lifted, it's a bit tragic, but it's true. I lifted my arm, I lifted up, and I just went, I've, I've had it, I've had it. I'm going to the next tournament, I'm putting 12 hours a day in on my own. I'm playing a thousand blacks of the spot, a thousand pinks of the spot, a thousand blues of the spot. I'm going to drive to that, and it was, I'm not quite saying how emotionally intense I was. I was nearly crying. I was so, oh. I wanted it so, 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 so much, where my whole being, it was just like an explosion in my head where I want, I'm having it, and that is the end. And it was like tunnel vision. Everybody's like talking, and I was like, I'm going there. And four weeks later, I won the European Men's Championship, the youngest ever at 19. Wow. And I went to the hotel room, and I turned pro. And I was like, and I practiced the 12 hours a day. It didn't make, it didn't make any, it was, I wasn't unhappy. I was absolutely thrilled to be practicing 12 hours a day, every single day. Yeah. Everyone thought you must be bored. I was like, no, I'm not bored. I'm not, I'm, I'm absolutely, story, yeah. I'm going that way. So just, just um, for me, I'm, I'm <laughs> not sure if I explained it very well, but no, to me, that was, I was sat I in the back for four day. hours. Yeah, that, that's a proper, like, this full is a full of story. You epitomize the examples of all yeah, That's what things. happened. And I, and I was sat there, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm lucky, I'm not, Good enough i'm not this i'm not that as he says the now i'm like oh my god that's how i got there that's how i didn't get that that's why i didn't get constantly i didn't want i hope i don't lose i hope i don't lose i hope i don't lose i hope amazingly enough i lost but when i was like i'm winning that is the that's the wow. end of it I'm winning, I'm winning. and i fully believed it i was on full intensity as he said uh you're on fire baby or something and it was fire. that was that was it that, that was it for me. So I can... That's um, really powerful because, like, if you've got that sense of, I can do this, like, you've got that belief and I'm going to make it happen. It's that moment when... It was, that was the moment for me. That's, that's yeah. quality of intention. When you stress, 
set a strong intention like that. Like there's no doubts, there's no fear coming in. Something happens, and um, you know, I think uh, I love hearing stories like that. So thanks for sharing. <laughs> no problem. I don't know if it'd be boring, but I, it was a it was the no. moment in my life where no. everything changed. Oh, then I then then sorry, the following day I was on the secret. I was on Joe, uh, um, Jim Rohn, I was on Earl Nightingale, and I was five hours a night watching everything, and I was 12 hours a day practicing <laughs> with five hours sleep, and I was the happiest man in the world. <laughs> and it was like my intensity was like... <laughs> Such a young age as well. That's amazing. Well, thank you so much. So for that, that was a big moment for you. Thank you. I appreciate that. Yeah, no, thank that you was... for sharing. Anyway, it's half ten now. It's half ten now. <laughs> <laughs> so um your thoughts are 99.9 percent .9 of the training balance scale which has created your life whether that's good or bad you know so you know he gives the example of a car crash you know when you get a car crash are you were you thinking of a car crash of course not you know but you were vibrating you may have, but <laughs> you may have but it's unlikely yeah you may have yeah. <laughs> It was the feelings that you were vibrating. Yeah. So whatever feelings you're vibrating, the universe gives back to you a circumstance or event or situation or a person that gives you that same kind of feeling. It matches that. So the question is, and it kind of goes back to success is nothing more than a decision away. Um, it kind of kind of ties in with that is the 10 second miracle. What is this 10 second miracle that he talks about? In fact, later on, he actually says it's not even 10 seconds. It's like nanosecond, a really. nanosecond or five seconds. Five yeah, yeah. Five, five is what I remember, the five, the five second miracle. Five second miracle, yeah. So what yeah. is the 10 second miracle? The moment you realize. Yeah. The moment that you realize that you're 100% responsible for everything in your life. Yeah, everything in your life. Everything, everything, everything. everything. Uh, I also wanted to add that um, making a decision also means that you're turning back to um, to what you don't want. Right? Oh, yes. Like looking at what you don't want, mm -hmm. ha having a cr contrast and uh, being able to define what you really want, mm -hmm. turning the back to it and say, hey, I'm going to do this. That's it, period. Yeah. The decision, uh, I just looked it up because it was a word uh, I had to illuminate. Oh, um, God, yeah. Decision, decision um, means literally to cut off. Cut off. Oh, so um, you cut off something that you don't want okay. and then you make a definite decision to go for what you want oh that's it really interesting, interesting yeah, yeah. yeah 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 of course thank you for sharing you can that, dissect that word i need that I yeah decision but yeah decision the moment you realize you've got to turn your back on what you don't want which is what everybody feels most like the, the normal people what everybody feels i don't want this i don't want this i, I have such bad relationships i have such a bad job i have this i have that and that and you're on full power baby he says yeah. yeah turn your back on it and then go to and then do what you do want it's so, indecision is the thief of opportunity yes <laughs> oh, i like that <laughs> Jim Rohn, Jim Rohn. <laughs> peter trudeau <laughs> <laughs> oh my god i love that it's so, so true take, taking 100 percent responsibility of your life you know, what happens in your life that's your 10 second miracle is so empowering when you do that. When you realize that you are at cause, not at effect, that empowers you because that's when you know that you can do something about it. You create your own reality and you create your life. If you didn't know that, that's very disempowering because then you're just dependent on outside circumstances and people. Wallowing. Yeah, and, and, and then you feel a victim, you know, mysticism. Blaming outside influences, influences for everything. You know, you're, you're in victimhood. You're powerless. And that's what the controlling elite, elite class, class want you to be. Yeah. They want to keep, keep you. you How are masses controlled? Victim. It's not your fault. It's, not, it's the government. It's the economy. <laughs> it's the economy. It's my mum and my nan used to say it all the time to me. Yeah, it's blame yeah. this person, blame that person. It's your you don't have to take any responsibility. It's everyone else's I'm work, not yours. I can't help it. So this yeah. is, you know, this is what the world is designed to make you feel you're yes. a victim. So, but why is it called mysticism, guys? It's just you know, a question. Why, curious about mysticism? That? why did he say, why did he use the word mysticism to describe, you know, blaming outside influences for everything that's happening in your life? I, go I Googled that word about six months ago or a year ago. I couldn't find it. Really? Oh, interesting. Is it in Google? And let me just have a little look. I, I, do you know, would you know how to spell it? 
Yeah, M-Y. M-Y. Uh, that's a believing outside influences control your life, no? Or something like that. Yeah. Yeah, it's yeah. believing outside influences. But why, why did, did he, he call, call it mysticism? Because he used that in like Hindu words, you know, like superstition. We use mysticism in like, in like the mystics of India, you know, the mystics and stuff. Yeah. 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 Yeah, for me, it was like mysticism sounds like an... Like this, there's a mystery that it's like um, you can't see what it is really. It's like a very Illusion. cloudy, <laughs> mm. like a yeah. mist. You know, because the way the way he, the yeah. way Trudeau says it, and I was like, okay, that, that makes perfect sense. That word, and I'm I've googled it now, and I can't really find mm. any. Maybe it's been taken. I don't know, but it's, it's the it's the powerless emotion is what the uh, what it is, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Got to eliminate mysticism. Yeah. And and also what Mario said was the, the mystery of it, the, the mainly it's derived from the fact that it's... it's, it's, it's yeah, the it's reason why I asked this question was we were curious, that's why. Not that we, we have the answer for it, curious. it was just generally curious about the word mysticism. Um, and I might look into it later on just a bit more. It just, um, but I, I think it's tied to the superstition as well. Oh, Mario, oh, were you going to say something? Yeah, I just looked it up. I'm gonna just post po uh, oh. post it here. Any mode of thought or life in which reliance is placed upon a spiritual illumination. So does that not to, to me? That doesn't make much sense to me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Any, Any mode, mode of thought, thought or life. I, I wouldn't trust everything you read on Google. Yeah. Yeah. That's Google right. Google Kevin Trudeau. It's good fun. Oh yeah, yeah Google exactly. 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 He's a what is he? A con man. He's he's fraud. He's oh. a... But but look at this bit. It says enlightenment, a term of re reproach. Oh no, that's enlightenment, Re implying a self delusion or dreamy confusion of thought. That's oh, interesting. Okay. okay. Well, now that that was self delusion. So what what is that saying? I I can't make heads or tails of that. I I think. I'm just getting the gist of it that maybe mysticism is um it's delusional, it's self-delusional that it's the outside yeah. is affecting your life instead of it's all from within. Yeah, yeah. So that's what I think the mysticism is, is that it's it's actually not not true that the outside affects you, it's actually the other way around. You affect you are at cause, you're not at effect. In in the magic of believing, um, the the thirteen minute little audio tape that it talks about Hitler and how he used auto suggestion for the, for the world and kept them compressed and brainwashed the the whole nation, and it says uh, it's not important. It just says one sentence at the bottom it says uh, that all is within, and that's what everything is within, which is then broadcasted out. But if you play, if you circumstances, circumstances, yeah, it doesn't it doesn't do much. <laughs> <laughs> So, and the miracle, the 10 second miracle, the word miracle is because, you know, why is it called a miracle? It's because it's that quick, <laughs> you know, it's a 10 that second miracle, that realization. Your whole life changes. And your whole life changes from that point onwards. Yeah. When, once you take full responsibility, you will see things in, in a different, different way. way. You will you'll you'll reflect back on your, you'll be retrospective of your life of why everything happened the way it did and what, how you caused it as well. And this happened to me. Yeah. it with others. Yeah. So, so how do you, the next question is, how do you increase your desire? By feeling good. Yeah. <laughs> That's it. How do you increase desire? He says, we're, we're going to talk about this because this is a key element. Yeah. So I think it's too. Oh, you just froze there. It's, but it's, I think it's one part in it. I think he says he says he says putting pictures up of what you want and everything, but I don't think that's the answer. No, but that's part of it actually, because he does talk about that. In so to make you think about it more. Yeah. So reduce I'm doubt. Sorry. You yeah. doubt. Yeah. Yeah. The, re the reason you don't have what you want right now is because you doubt that you'll get it. That's what he says. Yeah. 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 He says the way. Yeah, the way to increase it. Yeah. And and what is doubt then? What is doubt? You know, what, it's what looking off your radar screen, yeah. or it's uh, doubting you. Sorry. It's looking off your radar screen. Yeah. That was looking off the radar screen. And focusing on the Focus how. On the facts, the how. How's it going to happen? And what you don't the want. Part of the training balance scale. Yeah. yeah. So, 
um, again, he says, you can feel what's off the radar screen. Now, he gave um, a very good example about this, that story about the $450 million. Where are we coming out? Where are we coming up with the $450 million? I'm not going to get all the facts right, but the gist of the story is that Katie was sitting down at the table at one point with his... Barbados. Tony's or whatever. In Barbados, was it? And, um, and the accountants are looking at each other. <laughs> <laughs> my 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 account my uh, uh solicitor i think it was solicitor when i was getting the mortgage and they said yeah but you can't afford it you're not going to be able to get the mortgage and this was like a year ago six months ago i was like no i, I will i will sorry yeah but there's there's no income jim yeah, i'm just phoning you to say i'm getting it <laughs> i could afford it a couple of, about a month or two later after the world championship i said no i see uh, well, you didn't know that did you i said no i did i did i just tell the truth in advance well, the truth in advance, yeah. the truth in advance, yeah. the falls off your radar screen, you have this knowing this. So Katie had the same thing, he said, I can feel it, I know it's coming in, because we're all so excited, we're so excited, and we just know it, we can feel it, it's a knowingness, we don't have to talk about it, because if you talk about it, doubt will creep in, we're not going to discuss it, there's no point, we just know it's coming in, and it obviously happened. That was yeah. a mini rant for Kashmir there, but he's absolutely right. <laughs> so rationality logic doesn't come into yeah, it just accept it it's going to happen that's it you know you can begin that's to feel what's there i found really important it. it's not there but you can begin to feel what's off the radar screen yeah feel what's off the radar yeah. oscar oscar is uh, sorry oscar is saying something else related to how to increase burning desire yes a little thing is uh, uh believing in in yourself but you are uh, and listen to yourself and knowing that you have the the Aladdin slam. Oh yes. <laughs> can you can you repeat that, Armin, if you don't mind? I, I heard you. I just want to make sure I really got it. Yeah. Uh, yes. Uh, Oscar is saying that uh, one of the things to increase burning desire uh, is uh, by knowing who you are. Or, I mean, knowing who you are, believing in yourself, listening to yourself, and uh, knowing that you really have the Aladdin slam. That's the bit. Yeah, you took the lamp. <laughs> Love it. Oh, that's so cute. <laughs> the lamp. Love it, Oscar. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Um, so Hello. this is gonna happen. You know, I know oh. it. You know, it's off my radar screen, but I know it's there. You know, it's gonna happen. That's it. Just accept it. You know, your inner reality yeah. actually becomes more real than your yeah, outer reality. reality. So what you imagine in your mind, what you believe to be inside is more real than what's showing up at the moment on yeah. the outside, yeah. you know? And that's where the level you want to get to. I've had, I've had some of the, sorry, sorry, Mila, carry on. But I, I, I'm just saying that the thing that helps as well is meditation. Yeah. Because, mm -hmm. because, because we're plugged into this matrix and we've got these five senses, it's very easy to see the economy, mm -hmm. the government, react, you know, to react to and to be distracted. Plugged into the matrix. Yeah. So meditation actually helps you to just, um, eliminate eliminate all that for a little while you know you're overcoming your body your time the time concept and environment you know what's going good as well. you. and you're actually making your inner reality more real than what's going on outside and when you actually imagine it and you you really get yourself into that alpha state and you're imagining it you start to feel it and sometimes and you don't need the stuff yeah and you'll feel it so much that you don't even care it's not even happened yet outside of you because you're feeling it. You're so high in your imagination. This has happened to me. I said, I'm so yeah. high in my imagination right now. I actually don't even feel like I need the actual thing. Because, because I'm you're feeling, just feeling so like high I, inside. I'm, I'm just lying on my bed. Like I'm sitting up on my bed and doing a guided meditation. And I create and generate a feeling of happiness just in my own bedroom. I didn't have to go out anywhere. I didn't need to smoke no shisha. I didn't need to go to no nightclub. I didn't need no partner kissing on me. I was totally fine upstairs in my bed all alone in solitude, listening to the creative guided meditation. And I made myself smile. How cool is that? I didn't know. I didn't need to cook a burger. I didn't need to have ice cream, chocolate, nothing. How cool I, I had some that? of the most incredible experiences. I was telling my fiance about a few months ago, some of the most incredible experiences of my life. Not in general, in my life, listening to Kashmir sing on YouTube, which is how I attracted you guys into my life. And it was just the most blissful. Oh, so seriously, touching, seriously. Really? <laughs> I'm Oscar, I'm Oscar this week. I'm Oscar this week. It was the most incredible driving the car, living in the house. And he, when he says about um, the guy in uh, the forest, and you're, you're not, you're not here, you're there. Yeah. Mm. And um, it's very true. You, you can experience anything you want now, can't you? Yes, yes, you really can. Yes, 
I remember um, uh, we went out to a coffee shop just yesterday with our other friend and she said, just imagine yourself in, on a beach or in a yacht. Instantly, I smiled because for me, yacht just signifies opulence. It makes me feel good when I visualize myself sitting on a yacht with a hot tub or something. And I just pictured myself there and I instantly made myself smile and I felt instantly. And then it comes opulent. flying in into the physical world. That's the magic. It actually yeah. comes flying in. Well, yeah. Yeah. So, the, so the main friends, thing yeah. behind all of this is to always Always, Work on always feeling good, good now. Your number one goal, goal. every minute of every, every minute of the day is to feel good now to or various, feel yeah better, better than, than you're feeling, feeling right now. now. Yeah, um, and that's one of the messages that he's going to say throughout, throughout including training. level four. That's going to be you know he mm. says it a lot there, doesn't oh, he? Oh, level four training. Yeah, yes. level four training. Yeah, we'll um, and if you feel bad, any negative emotion, to any degree, to any degree, the two things are. You're thinking and emitting a frequency about what you don't want, and you're thinking about um, what you want, but there's you doubt, doubt that, you'll get it. that you will get it. There's only two reasons you feel bad. He talks a bit in level two with yeah. me. It's either you think about what you don't want, or you think about what you want, and you doubt you'll get it, which makes you feel it. bad. Yeah. Which, That's in effect, it. is what you're thinking about what you don't want. That's it. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so. Um, when you so now he talks about that um, we're almost coming to the end i know we've gone yeah, a little bit over today time, yeah. um but we'll just we'll, we'll come to the end of it soon um so the thought uh, he talks about the positive and the negative ball of energy so you have a thought you think of that thought with power and intensity which means belief excitement strong desire you do it over a long duration and then you attract other matching thoughts right yeah. so that that thought gets bigger and bigger the ball the energy ball of that thought gets bigger and bigger and bigger and then stuff then starts to show up on your radar screen right so it could That's be coming in closer and closer yeah it gets closer and closer you get signs that you get closer and closer to it and it's the same with your positive and negative ball of energy you know if you can grow your positive ball of energy and get that will get your negative ball of energy smaller so you want to get to or that tipping it. point yeah the tipping point that's of having more positive thoughts mm -hmm. people go around the cloud around their head don't they most people go around with a cloud over their head yeah and you, that, that starts to, to dissipate and then you, you bigger your, your positive ball of energy gets bigger that's yeah. it and you know believe it or not you know we might have to practice positive thoughts because we might be unconsciously conditioned i thinking negative yeah You're unconsciously genius, competent. I'm thinking negative <laughs> So for, at a conscious competence yeah. level, you have to practice positive thoughts. And he says for about a month, um, because I think that's when you start to develop um, new neural pathways in your brain. And once you do that, once you start hardwiring yourself with positive thoughts, your negative ball diminishes. Those, those wirings, those connections of negative thoughts start to diminish. Yeah. And actually now science, neuroscience shows it in real time of actual neural pathways mm -hmm. joining together. Yeah, right and ones that are pruning apart. And it actually shows it, you know, they just speed it up, but they show how brain changes through connections of new ones and um, the loss of um, other- Hence the frequency then you blast out and comes back. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. it. So then it becomes automatic. Um, it just becomes a habit to think positive thoughts, but we have to train ourselves to think positively um, because we may not be naturally positive some people are you know some people do tend to think more a lot of positive thoughts and they so, the champagne when a disaster happens yeah. so works. when your positive ball of energy is greater than your negative that's when your life changes you know magically changes yes and so he says again the most important thing is to feel good now and as we're coming up to the end of this uh audio seven um just want to emphasize that feel good now don't pay much attention to the radar screen so anytime you notice yourself paying attention to the economy I can't travel how is going to happen you know just seems impossible yeah. i've got no idea how it's going to happen just remember it's just a small part that your senses are seeing or hearing or feeling or touching and everything's transient as well guys mm -hmm. you may think covid vaccinations restrictions lockdowns whatnot you know i can't do this what's the point of desiring travel now because i'm not going to take the vaccine ideas are a very dangerous <laughs> thing yeah Fox life, Fox life. <sighs> i gave so, you goosebumps you are small <laughs> pathetic losers yeah yeah you know that, was, power, don't you? that was really yeah. powerful that was really powerful um, okay. So your inner reality, remember, inner reality, you want to make it stronger than your outer reality. You don't want to get caught up too much with what's going on outside of you, yeah. um, especially if it causes doubt in you or lack. Yeah. 
Um, and like we said, meditation is one of the tools that can help with this, um, like visualization meditation, you know, you can do that or just, uh, you know, whatever, whatever works for you. So that comes to the end of CD7. Audio 7. That was awesome. And Audio 8, just a quick recap of what we're going to go through for our next session is more about the most important thing, which is feel, feel good, good now. now. Um, gratitude, gratitude, dream building, building <laughs> more to all the tools um, and how to do it. And so lots of exciting stuff, like all lots of tools he lists about how to feel good, basically. And um, yes, yeah, so there's lots of exciting stuff in CD8. So, so we look forward to seeing you, all there. Forward to seeing you all there. And may you never be the same again. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, everyone. Bye. 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 Bye.